coverage of the year 2000 men's NCAA championship continues now. About a half an hour's drive north of downtown Detroit, Michigan. We are at the Palace of Auburn Hills. 20,000 plus on hand, many of them, most of them wearing green and white for this much anticipated matchup between the Iowa State Cyclones and the Michigan State Spartans. Here on Thursday night, Michigan State came from 14 down in the second half to defeat Syracuse. UCLA blown out by Iowa State. The final in that one, 80 to 56. The winner of this game gets Wisconsin in Indianapolis next week. Good afternoon, everybody. Vern Lundquist along with Bill Raftery. What an anticipated matchup we've got. Sixth time these two teams have met. And Vern Lundquist, Michigan State goes, wait a minute. And quickly, it's Johnson right side to Cantrell Horton. Michael Nurse, that pass deflected, first turnover of the game. Here is Mateen Cleaves. He'll dribble, penetrate, little runner is good. Oh, my goodness. Got to stop him. He's very strong going down the lane. Uh, this is the end, Vern. They can turn it up a notch, Iowa State. Outstanding defense. Mismatches all over the floor. Program nice back dish. Wow. And they, they write on a sheet what they're going to run out of the gate. He's a youper. Mm -hmm. Upper Peninsula, Iron Mountain. And look at the reaction by Granger on the exchange. Nice screen on the baseline. Stevie Johnson back to Cantrell Horton. He's guarded by Charlie Bell. Ball on the floor. Picked up third turnover. And a foul on Cantrell Horton. Uh, it's very tough to simulate the kind of man-to-man -man pressure that Michigan State can exert. Cleves kicks it left. Charlie Bell. Nurse has him now. Bell with a jumper for three. That ends the drought. What a great end of the year, huh? Stepped it up. Chappelle got the basket on the penetration. Cleaves for Granger, guarded by Pfizer. In the lane, puts it up, got it. Why well, Granger just does so many. Now he's playing big. Tinsley's getting a rest now. Here's Horton in the lane. Hawkins tries to go off the glass, does rebound. Mo Peak for the lead. Bell, got it. How about that little dip under? If Michigan State relaxes just a bit, don't uptick. Get your ball reversal, get your screens, they're going to get good looks. Plus, they've got the size to do some damage. Ranger fade away, got it. And that's the area of concern for Larry Eustacey. Larry Eustacey's going to move to Paul Shirley. And there is another turnover. What a steal by Cleves. Read the post pass. Now Charlie Bell at the point. Dave Thomas is on number 11 for Tom Izzo. A.J. Granger, Chappelle, and Bell. Granger can one. Well, we said most improved the other night. Extraordinary from deep. That's a better part of his game, and he's shown a little post up as well. Nice post feed. <laughs> Andre Hudson back on the floor. Mateen Cleaves picked up by Michael Nurse. Hudson's also out there. Here's the pick and roll. The jumper from Cleaves got it. How about that off the bench? Again, spots up, takes the three. Once again, Granger keeps it alive. Here's Cleaves. Bumps Tinsley. Good! Hudson, a gamble by Izzo, has come up with a couple of big baskets with the two personal fouls. Tom said, Coach, got any advice? He said, yeah, you know the Pfizer fellow? Stop him. <laughs> Look at this duck in. Oh, he's had a great play out of the timeout. And Granger, one of the better post passers. Off the dribble, Tinsley, no. Here's Cleves for Michigan State. Jason Richardson, the freshman. Oh, what a beautiful pass. How about that? Now they're running the floor, getting their post duck ins. That time it's Granger, and you're right. Pretty good reaction defensively. They are well schooled. Cleves gets the screen from Granger. Oh, he knows when to stick it in, too. Oh, he's looking at his crowd. He's got half of the audience here. Backcourt scoring, huge edge. But in the lane, here's my Iowa, Michigan State. Pretty good play by Charlie Bell. I mean, they pinched the basketball defensively extremely well, Michigan State. Entry pass, Hudson in the lane over Pfizer. Loves the left hook coming from that right box. Now they need Mo P involved a little bit more. I mean, he just hasn't again. Now they're going to go deep. Hudson. Likes the hook. Likes the hook from here. Now go fade away. All right. 
I'm sure Tom will take it. Nice little duck in. Surely couldn't have big out. Nice job rooting him out. Pfizer, guarded by Granger, establishes low post position. Here comes the double from Andy Gagne. And a clean block from Morris Peterson. Wonderful. A little high low that dived to the tin by Shirley, negated by a great individual effort. Pfizer battles Andre Hudson. Ooh, nice little play by Hudson. Oh, my goodness. Pfizer tried to get the official's attention with a prep ball. He's too big <laughs> to induce that kind of thinking. Three-point Iowa State lead. Here's their thumbs up. They curl off the post. Nice dive by Pillow. Oh, what a great play. Uh, you can see the fatigue right now. Iowa State not spacey. 18 points for Jamal Tinsley. But the answer at the other end is a two-pointer for Mo Peterson. He's too good to be as silent as he has been. Stepping up twice now. Now Cleves. Granger from way outside. And Cleve took the hit. Marcus Pfizer ran right over him. Back it comes to Peterson. Came it. And he wanted it. Stepping up. And Granger ran it down. A nice kickback. Cleves out on Tinsley. Oh. The tip, no good. Zoned by Hudson in the rear. Nurse with a runner in the lane. No, too strong. Andre Hudson chases it down for the Spartans. And now the two seniors from Flint, Cleves and Peterson, born 12 days apart in 1977. Off the dribble, Charlie Bell also from Flint. Michigan State leads. And how about the organization skills of Mateen Cleve? The initial set broke down. He called for the high pick, turned the corner, the delivery. Tinsley looks for the pick from Johnson. Now the entry pass, Pfizer. Double, nope, rebound, Hudson. What a nice job by Hudson to go tall and not foul. 2.15 remaining. A little double for Peterson. It's the same play they ran earlier. Turn the corner and look. Nice back. Leaves alley. Oh! What a setup off the timeout. The step and go. How about the hops? Pfizer for three. Bell on the floor. Got it. Great rebounder for guard. So now they got a second chance because they started early. Five on the shot clock. Foul called. One more. His mom, Valerie, and his dad, Robert. Morris, I beg your pardon. Score quickly, Vern. Pick and roll. Off the glass. Oh, what a rebound. In the lane. Threw it up deliberately on the glass. Spartans. The team cleaves is fouled by Michael Nurse. <laughs> Morris Peterson shoots two. My, how far he has come since his first year at Michigan State. Sat out as a medical red shirt his first year, broken thumb. His mom played basketball, Valerie, at Mississippi Valley. She called Tom Izzo midway through Moore's second year and said, Coach, talk to my son. He ain't playing any defense. <laughs> well, he's playing a lot of offense now. He broke that wrist three years ago, and boy, it changed his whole career. Quick hits, and you got to help, don't foul and obviously you want to challenge the jumper from here don't give this little guy Michael Nurse any room You're making him use time Cantrell Horton launches one no back to Pfizer off the mark and I believe it was Pfizer oh they got a technical foul oh don't Larry no 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 please where are the assistant coaches where are the assistant coaches to calm him down 
They should have been right behind him, Vern. And now he's out of the game, Vern. Two technical fouls and a class act going over to both Tom Izzo and Mateen. Please, but your assistants must get up and protect. Terry Carroll and Leonard Perry just in amazement sitting there. And what a shame to leave a game with this flavor and this taste. The one national championship won by Michigan State. Magic Johnson, Greg Kelser, Jay Vincent. The head coach then was Judd Heathcote. They are going back to the final four. They will be favored to win the national championship. The Cyclones of Iowa State picked by many to finish dead last in the Big 12. They win their first conference championship since 45, but they fall short here and lose to the top seed, Michigan State. Yet again, the scoreboard will not tell the story. The final margin, 11. Mateen Cleaves, Morris Peterson, A.J. Granger, the three seniors, still have a dream alive. Just a, a just a wonderful game, and, and I'm, I'm left speechless, somewhat burned by the way it ended. I'm really proud of these guys. I mean, they, they hung in there. It looked like we were tiring a little bit. We forced a couple shots, but I'll tell you what, they really gritted it out, and we got a lot done in the last five minutes. Billy? I know the guy that makes you a heck of a coach. He's right behind you here. He is a coach. Uh, let's see, uh, the, for the foul problems, were you concerned that you would be able to get back in and dominate like you did earlier? Uh, well, really, I, I did get a little tad bit nervous, tell you the truth. But, you know, Morris and Andre and those other guys stepped it up, and they've been doing it all year. So once I went out, I was a tad bit concerned, but those guys stepped it up like they've been doing all year. The other night you said three more games. How many are left? Two more. And what are you going to do? <laughs> Hopefully we can win them. We're going to win them, baby. Congratulations. Thanks Congratulations to the Spartans. The dream lives. They'll play next Saturday against Wisconsin. Congratulations, Tom.